Hey, hey guys, back in 2015, way back 2015, it seems like ages ago, I wrote a book. I wrote a book, uh, Web Design, Start Here and uh, Build Your Website Fast or something like that in the uh, American edition. I have an American edition of a, uh, and I also have a European edition. So this is the European edition here. And uh, this was quite a job. So I wrote a book for a couple of reasons. Number one, I wanted to write a book. Uh, I figured it was a good thing to do. And I also wanted to really plan out the new curriculum for Studio Web uh, as best I could. So the new curriculum for Studio Web, at least the first level, if you will, the first set of courses included HTML5, CS3, HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript, and PHP, SQL, of course, but I really wanted to refine the HTML5, the CSS3, and the JavaScript portion because these three languages, HTML is a markup language, CSS is a styling language, uh, and uh, JavaScript, of course, is a programming language, scripting language, and they work together, and together they are super important in terms of the world of uh, coding right because you use these three languages to create every single website in the world every single web app in the world and more and more and more these three languages are used to create mobile mobile applications with the help of middle layer products like PhoneGap from adobe and i argued in a previous video that more and more and more people and companies are not writing apps native code in native code so for android they're not writing in java and for ios they're not writing in swift or object to see more and more companies are going to web languages because they're flexible they're easy you write once you got a you got your product for android and you got your product for ios and you got your product for windows phones for the four people who use windows phones now again in that video i'm not going to revisit the whole thing but people are arguing some people might say well the speed you know html5 based Mobile apps are not as fast as dedicated native apps, if you will. Yeah, to a certain extent, for sure. But for most apps that people are creating these days, the HTML5 based mobile apps will do the job easily. And the bigs are doing it. So anyway, so there you go with that. So bottom line is these three languages, HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript, hugely important. And if you're learning the codes, it's a great, set of languages to learn and on top of that i would include if you're thinking of raw programming again i would think python as well but again in terms at the end of the day whether you concentrate on python or javascript or php or whatever other language you choose really depends on the type of work you want to do yada yada you can see all my videos where i talk about that how the, the language you choose uh, is dependent on the career or the type of work you want to do anyway just as a reminder you can still buy this book in bookstores across North America and Europe, get it on Amazon. It's still there. Even though I wrote it in 2015, I wrote this book to be evergreen, meaning it is designed that uh, everything in here is totally up to date because HTML5, CSS, JavaScript, in terms of the basics and the other things I cover in here have not changed. This book was designed to be, I know it's not too thick, it's a... Uh, 224 pages. It was designed to, to give you what you need and only what you need so that you can move forward and actually build responsive websites, understand the basics of JavaScript, understand CSS3, and understand the internet and the World Wide Web in total. That's what uh, a lot of courses out there which you see in terms of programming, web development, and design, they lack these foundational lessons, if you will where I teach you about the request response cycle. I teach you about the interaction between servers and clients. I help you understand these, what some nerds might call low level concepts that are actually extremely important. Low level meaning they provide the foundation to all these other technologies, like something called HTTP, you know, and FTP and servers and clients, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I really get into that in this book, besides teaching you the nitty gritty of building websites and web apps, well, the basics of, of web apps. So for instance, I'll cover 
On page 106, I cover what exactly is programming. I break it down into uh, non-nerd terms. This is actually from chapter 6, Introduction to uh, JavaScript. Now, I'm not teaching you detailed JavaScript in this book, uh, but I'm, I'm giving you an introduction so you understand it. You understand, oh, this is why we do JavaScript. This is the point of it all. And for instance, I introduce object-oriented pro object programming here on page uh, 110. And you say to yourself, why would a beginner's web design book teach object-oriented programming? Because even when you're building basic websites, key aspects about what you're doing when you're interacting or building a website has to do with object-oriented programming principles. Because in the end, I'm not going to get into it here, but in the end, underneath uh, the covers, if you will, what's going on is based on OO, object-oriented principles. So I go on from there, we get into all kinds of different subjects. And as I mentioned in a uh, previous video, the key of a good course is to just cover those key fundamentals and then move on from there. We can't get caught up in going down some tangent, exploring something that it's really not used too much in real life. And uh, same thing for app development. So I'm going to tie this back in again for app developers. When you're developing your app, the key to developing a successful app is to get it out the door as quickly as possible, to go from A to Z as quickly as possible so you can put it in front of the, uh, the faces of your users. And then from there, you can start refining uh, various components of your app depending on uh, user feedback. Right, Like, for instance, what I just did with my Python course, I put out about 39 lessons to a group of people to uh, give me comments. And to be honest with you, after about 10 or 15 videos, I have a pretty good idea of what's going on, you know, what people are looking at and how they're seeing things. Of course, I've been building courses since 2003, so I have a bit of experience to begin with, but nonetheless. You put out your product, whether it be a course or whether it be an app, as quickly as possible, get your reaction, then you start going back and fixing things along the way. So I highly recommend that if you're, you are looking to build an app because you do want to do a startup or you have, your own, you have your own product you want to develop or you're building apps for your clients, building websites for your clients, get it out as quickly as possible. Get it out as quickly as possible. Get that feedback. Right? When you see the app working from A to Z, that gives you a perspective that you don't get when you're sort of caught on some one stage of the journey, if you will. You want to complete the whole thing. It's very, very important. And again, I've learned this from years and years of app development experience, I'm now building courses since 2003, and of course, business, from my business experience. You don't know if a product is going to work until you get out there and you try and sell the product. You know what? This is one of these universal principles. I got that from fighting. I used to tell people uh, one three-round sparring session with, a, with anybody, really, is worth more than months and months of training in the gym where you're not sparring. Hitting the pads, uh, hitting the heavy bag, doing drills, it's necessary. Don't get me wrong, but I'm telling you, getting in the ring and completing the three round fight, that's worth so much more. And as a result, when I was uh, boxing, I would, I would spar, especially when I was really deep into it, I would spar 40 rounds a week, 30, 40 rounds a week. Now we're not trying to knock each other's heads off, of course, but we're, spar we're sparring pretty hard. Uh, hard enough, when I got my nose broken a couple of times. So, you know, anyway, I hope this is useful. Ciao.